Question 10, we have 30x plus 60y equals 180. And we're going to use the same method. Just do a little table, x, y. Plug 0 in for x, and then 0 in for y. And calculate each intercept, right? So when you plug 0 in for x, you're going to get 30 times 0 plus 60y equals 180. 30 times 0 plus 60y equals 180. So that gives you 0 plus 60y, or just 60y equals 180. What does that give? Divide both sides by 60, and we get y equals. How many 60s are contained in 180? 3, right? So when x is 0, we found that y is 3. And then do the same thing for this. When y is 0, what's x? Can you do that? When y is 0, you've got 30x okay, plus 60 times 0 equals 180. So y is 0, 60 times 0. See that? So we get 30x plus 0 you know, equals 180, or just 30x equals 180. And now what? Just divide by 30 on both sides. And we get x equals, what's 18 over 3? The zero, divide top and bottom by 10, the zeros cross cancel, now you have 18 divided by 3. What's 18 divided by 3? 6, right? So when y is 0, x is 6. And so these are our two intercepts. Which one is which? Just take out a little graph and put them on the graph and you'll know. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. 0, 3, where is that and where is 6, 0? You tell me. You tell me which is which. Right? When x is 0, y is 3. That's that point there. Okay, is that is that point on which axis is this on? It's on the y-axis, so it's the y-intercept, right? Where is 6, 0? 6, 0 is here. x is 6, y is 0. 6, 0. So if you were to draw, graph the equation, the points would go through here, right? So let me go through these points. Now this, again, this point is on the y-axis, so that's the y-intercept. This point is on the x-axis, so that's the x-intercept. 